Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. All right, well, it's kind of a good news, bad news situation. The weekend is here. The bad news is, well, rain is always good news, but uh, it might spoil a few Well, plans. if you want to be outside, yeah. maybe if you want to go out to dinner tomorrow evening and you want to sit outside, it's not great news yeah. there. But, yeah, the other problem we're going to be facing is visibility. Mm. This is something that we could definitely do without. And take a look at this, your Tuscan Butte camera over the last few hours. Visibility has been pretty problematic heading into your evening, and now we're still seeing that in some areas. Take a look at the current fog outside across Northern California, or visibility, I should say. Three miles right now for Chico, four miles in Paradise. Now, normally we see a bit more clearing throughout the day, but we really didn't see a whole lot of sunshine breaking through, and we're starting to see other areas getting involved as well. Willows just dropped to below six miles of visibility. Later tonight through early tomorrow, we're going to start to see fog becoming a bit more prevalent. That's going to be an issue for you on Saturday morning, so keep that in mind. We're also tracking some showers moving through tonight. Foggy starts the day for your Saturday, and then wetter conditions moving through tomorrow afternoon through Sunday. So getting a look at what we've seen so far today, most of the showers have been closer to the coast since this morning. We did see some light moisture in the atmosphere, not a whole lot of shower activity actually moving through this afternoon. That's because high pressure is built in. So right now we've got that ridge moving through Northern California, and then we've got this wet system heading towards the West Coast. So what's going on now is that most of the moisture is being diverted to our north, but some of that is going to break through tonight and models are a little bit split on where we are going to see those showers, but the most likely areas where we're going to see showers on the way northern end of the valley through Tehama County coastal areas through around midnight starting to see some showers moving into the Sierra by then. We're also seeing a very slight chance for some showers moving through Glen and Butte counties. That just doesn't look as likely. Overnight, we're still tracking those showers into the Sierra and then you can see tomorrow morning most of those showers are closer to the coast and towards the afternoon. That's when most areas have seen the wet weather really starting to ramp up. So heavier rain moving in tomorrow. You're also noticing a lot of blue and yellow or green and yellow here. Not a lot of blue. Snow levels staying above 7,000 feet tomorrow. Finally, by Sunday evening, dropping to 4,500 feet. So staying relatively high. Most of what falls this weekend is going to be in the form of rain. Fog and rain on the way for the northern mountains. Temperatures in the mid 40s to low 50s for tomorrow afternoon. Cloudy skies with showers moving through tonight and tomorrow afternoon for the Sierra and Cascade. So showers tonight through early tomorrow and then showers tomorrow evening really ramping up tomorrow night. Temperatures there in the mid to high 40s for your afternoon. Foothill areas expecting to see low to mid 50s for most areas on Saturday. Cloudy skies is a chance for some showers tonight. It looks more likely that we'll see the return of showers for these areas tomorrow afternoon and evening though. And then as you get a look at the valley, Scattered showers are looking likely for the North Valley later on tonight with mid to high 40s for your overnight lows. We'll see cloudy skies for the better part of tomorrow and then showers returning tomorrow evening with high 50s to low 60s. Mid Valley areas in the mid to high 40s overnight, so it's staying fairly warm. Fog does look likely to be a factor with light winds tomorrow back up into the high 50s to low 60s. Rain returning tomorrow evening, so get ready. It is going to be wet out there, especially late in the day tomorrow through tomorrow night and early Sunday. That's the time frame we're looking at with the heaviest rain on the way. We'll see the showers wrapping up for the valley on Monday with scattered showers continuing in the mountains. All right, thank you, Court. There is a